Hey guys, uh, welcome to my Mega Cup. Uh, so the Arena Australis group is a, an Australian-based Discord group, and we have um, put together a mega lobby of 40 or 42 people uh, to do some uh, larger tournaments, because in Australia, it's fairly large distances, um, and the communities are fairly spread apart. So we don't often get uh, large lobbies more than sort of four or five round tournaments. So the goal of this group was to be able to consistently do six round tournaments, uh, which is great. So I'm sorry to sizzle me this. Uh, he was my first round opponent and um, I forgot to record the match or I deleted it. So sorry, mate. Um, so I got absolutely whooped by him. So uh, hopefully that's some consolation. And we move straight into our, um, the second matchup and it's against Ninetail Pasta. So you can see my team is fairly similar to what I ran in the other tournaments. So Alteria, Probopass, Sandslash, Whiskash, Venusaur, and Charizard. And looking over on the other side, we can see we've got three Alteria counters and a mirror. So I'm fairly sure Alteria got benched for this, uh, this tournament. And we can see we're not doing so crash hot in this first round. So we're probably going to eat a bulldoze here. Uh, and he switches into Whiskash. So... Uh, we definitely lose this first round against Ninetail Pasta. Um, so we'll move into the second round now. And uh, so looking at his team, I've got Probopass beats three of his guys and loses to the other three. But he loses to the other three by a lot. Um, so if I want to run Probopass, I'm going to have to run Venusaur. Um, and this is actually pretty good for my team getting a Whiskash mirror match. Um, so I want to get rid of his Whiskash uh, so my Probopass can do well. In the back, uh, also helps out a lull and sand slash if I'm running it too. And Charizard is only really going to help with Bronzong and I guess Frostlass there as well. Anyway, so we go through the mirror match. We all know that you want to land the Blizzard and uh, he does a better job of me here. So we switch into Venusaur and then we get a nice quick switch out into Charizard. So he's going to absolutely be able to wreck through this Bronzong. Um, but we are forced to use our last shield here and we do go for the bait. With this Dragon Claw, which he gets it buys into, so hopefully this last Dragon Claw will finish it off, and it almost does. But this is actually going to be a good thing. Uh, while Venusaur is going to take a little bit of damage, he actually gets a fair bit more energy there. So we're fully at a Frenzy Plant, and we got that Frostlass. So this Frenzy Plant is going to rip in, and because of that extra energy we got, we actually beat it to the Avalanche. So that was actually critical to us getting the win. Uh, and the Whiskash left in the back just takes one hit and drops. Obviously, if the Whiskash had had enough energy, even a Mud Bomb was probably going to kill us. All right, so this is just a race to the Bulldozers. Uh, we'll see get, he, but he switches out, which is possibly the best possible thing that could happen. So my Venusaur is actually going to rip into this uh, Swampert. Now, obviously, we do have to watch out if he's got a Sludge Wave. that's going to do a fairly large chunk of damage to us. Um, so if we shield this we can just farm it down and keep that nice and edging in the scrape sludge wave so well done there uh, even an earthquake would have carried us um, so unfortunately we're now stuck into this bronze on encounter but we do have ooh, no we weren't sorry uh, probably would have been better off switching before we we threw that but allows him to switch into his swiss cash we've got an energy lead um, so hopefully we can land the blizzard but he burns his last shield um, and i think I think we're in a pretty good spot. So he elects not to Blizzard here, which means we're going to get to a second Blizzard before. So this is actually going to KO his Whis... Oh, very close to KO, sorry. His Whiskash. Um, but he's loaded up with a bit of energy here. Fortunately, we can sneak in this Ice Punch. I think he was waiting to see what came out. So that pretty... That little sneaky play kind of... Kind of got us through there and got us the win. So we had a shield in the back, so it was probably okay anyway, but... Yeah, sometimes it's nice to jump in and save that shield um, that we didn't have to worry about it. So last, now we move into our third match against uh, Bojan. Bojan? Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, mate. Um, now he's got a victory bell in there. And now Whiskash is basically dead in, I think, five <laughs> rakes at least from that victory bell. Um, so if you get that match, you're going to have to get out nice and quick. So we're kind of trading Mud Bomb, then we trade Blizzards. Um, so we both correctly shield up. The blizzard there. Uh, this should be a mud bomb, and hopefully we're going to get to another blizzard. So force his shield, or he's going to be pretty close to dead. So very close there. So now it seems like uh, he had sort of one more fast attack. So I think this was this tournament was done before that rework. 
so it makes it a little bit harder to uh, yeah come out on top in these some of these matchups. But I actually really like the rework now. So switch into our Pro Pass. Um, if he's smart, he would have switched out there. See, Blast Burden does a fair bit, but I'm able to take down that Charizard and still have a, a good amount of energy. Um, probably would have been better off throwing the Magnet Bomb there. Um, so we're trying to get to a second one. Uh, he chooses to... It was looking like he was going to try and farm spam, but when he realized he wasn't going to get there, he switched out. Um, so we just we got a shield here. So we, just, we know we're going to win this. We get so much more energy, and we'll get to those Frenzy Plants and just fine whip it down after using our shield. And that's the first match to us. Um, so looking at his team, without that Venusaur, we kind of have a, I guess, a bit more safety, I guess, because our Venusaur should beat the Victory Bell. Um, so we've got a fairly nice matchup. Obviously it's fairly shield dependent. Um, we choose not to shield here, and it is a Blast Burn, so to our detriment, we're up shields, but we're down. Um, down in energy, but Propass just deletes it, so he really could have switched out of there nice and quick. I guess he didn't want to lose that uh, that lead advantage. Um, but we come in a nice spot here, and we've just got to throw as many uh, as many Frenzy Plants here as we can. So shields are down. I think we can take one Ice Punch, but we choose to not to farm up a little bit of extra energy. And not going to do as much as we would have liked so this ice puncture is probably going to faint us down and then we're going to be stuck with Probopass just attempting to farm down um, but we obviously we can't take a bulldoze so we wasted that energy there and obviously Whiskash is going to absolutely delete our Probopass in this matchup so lose round two so one and one heading into the third matchup now and we get a very 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 handy lead here um, and then he switches into the victory bell and we switch and I was like, oh So he switched and I was like, damn it. I wasted all that energy um, But I still should have should have hopped those bubbles So it was a bit silly, but we're able, able to farm down that victory bell We did have to waste the shield, but and unfortunately now we're stuck in an even worse match here um, But we can get to a second uh, charge move and so we're hoping to get a shield, but he's quite a smart player, Bojan, and he elects not to shield. Now, advantage here to us is we can block this blizzard and then just farm down for a ton of energy. So now we know we've got a Lolan Sand Slash we're going to have to somehow beat. And we've also got... Um, oh, is this his last Pokemon? Yeah, it is his last Pokemon. And we've still got that Whisk Cash there, so... It was nice... He's, all his energy is used up, so we just got to get to a Mud Bomb, and that should almost take him out. We might have to go for a second one here, though. Oh, he's got a shield. Oops. My mistake. Um, now, Bulldoze would probably come a lot closer. If he had a farmed up to that Bulldoze and then thrown it, probably would have KO'd us. It would have done a bit more damage. Um, so, fortunately for us, we can just scrape by the skin of our teeth and win round two. So now we come up against our old mate Final Flash 218. Um, Final Flash and I have done a lot of battles together. Um, practice matches and in our other group, in the smaller group. So we both know, and because I commented on it again, Whiskash has to double shield. If he double shields, even if um, Polyrath double shields, we're going to get the win. So I know how committed I am and I need to double shield He's done eight punches, and then I know the matchup's mine. So he knows that too, so he's not going to waste his last shield on any of this, and he's going to happily let Polyrath go down. Um, the only advantage is I can get him down with fast moves, so I don't need to use any of that energy. I can charge up a stack and throw a blizzard here. So he's either going to use his last shield, or he's going to take a stack of damage. So he's taken all that damage. Now he's choosing to farm us up again. He thought he could get the kill. And that Mud Bomb, we just sneak it in before he, he threw his, so I don't know if that was CMP or not. Uh, and then Venusaur can just get rid of that energy, a um, couple of hits. So we're in a fairly commanding position, we've got Venusaur and I think Charizard, yeah, Charizard in the back. So even though he's got shields, uh, Charizard's just going to absolutely delete with that Fire Spin. So we're really happy to get that first match out of the way, uh, that Shiny Polyrath 
in our practice matches before I committed those two shares with this cash was just ripping into me. Uh, so that's about as bad as a matchup as you can get in the lead. Now we actually get something really nice here, this Wigglytuff. And he doesn't shield. So we can delete that Wigglytuff. Ah, oh, it's just great. Now he's forced to bring in a long Sand Slash, so I know he's got Sand Slash and Whiskash to come up against. Now he's going to try and farm me down. Um, lets me really get to these Frenzy Plants quite nicely. Happy to let my uh, Venusaur go. So Probe Pass is going to absolutely annihilate. Probably could have even let that go through, even if it was a Bulldoze. Because um, then I would have had the shield advantage on my Whiskash. Correctly pick the Mud Bomb and I throw the Blizzard. If he shields, so be it. He doesn't. It's probably great for me. Now I'm going to shield this, farm him down, and then I know I've got the energy generation to beat that uh, Lolan Sand Slash in the back. And there we go. Second Mud Bomb. That's all she wrote. So I didn't get to see that Noctowl. Um, could have caused me a few problems with my Venusaur. But I guess he was using a Lolan Sand Slash. Could have used a Lola Marrow, I could have been in better counter, but I think he liked the bulldoze against my Probo Pass. So, spoke too soon, and we get the Noctowl. He switches into that Noctowl. Um, but awesome for me, we land the Blizzard. So he knows he can take one Blizzard. Uh, so we're just going to try and just get enough chip damage on here, um, and then we'll let our Whisk Cash go. Because now we can get a little tiny little bit of energy on whatever we bring in next, and which bring in Probe Pass. Now he's going to bring in something that counters Probe Pass. Question is, do we just stick it out, or and or do we try and commit commit to switching into our Venusaur? It's risky no matter what you do. Um, I didn't want him to farm up any more energy. It was basically a GG situation. So. Uh, get get the Probe Pass out there regard and use all of our shields on our Venusaur. Because the Probe Pass is dead from either of these two Pokemon. So, not overly worried about, you know, the need to survive. Uh, but I'm fairly sure we, we're going to lose this one. But we, I think it's just storing up that little bit of extra energy. We've got a shield. Um, the question is, can we beat him? And so we switch to our Probe Pass to eat that little bit of energy. And, I don't know, are we going to farm down? Do we have enough? No, he switches straight into his Whiskash. And we're going to take uh, Blizzard to the face and lose around three. But we're on the first two. Oh, so these Mega Tournaments really... They're spread out over a fair bit of time. But, yeah, there's a lot involved. Um, so I'm really appreciative of everyone who's gotten on board with them. Um, I think it's great that we can get some consistent six-round tournaments coming up. Especially in some of these other cups. Uh... And I mean, potentially, if someone's brave enough, you can wait this cup and, um, yeah, see if you can take out the title, I guess. So, the first person I lost to sizzled me this, which I don't have footage of. He uh, he actually went 6-0 in this tournament. So, a little bit of a left field. I don't think I don't think too many people, given sizzle me this, his rank isn't terrible, but it's not super high. He's got a bit of a dark horse, and he, and he really executed nicely. Like, absolutely wrecked me like you wouldn't believe. So, um, yeah. Anyway, sorry, I'll, I'll keep focusing on this matchup. Uh, I kept thinking Pro Pass was a good counter to Shift Tree, and it's only in the lead, never switching. But anyway, <laughs> so we get to some sludge buffs off onto this Noctowl, and then, yeah, okay, we just let that one go. So Altair is going to farm him down. And we've got a shield advantage against this Swiss Cash and energy, so that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. So second match against Takito, Takito, 45. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. And we get the Probo Pass Shiftering matchup coming through again. Um, yeah, so we'll see how this one comes off. Uh, obviously, Probo Pass has the advantage in the fast attacks, but the Shiftery just has so much more energy gen. We know we need to be at least at equal shields to get the win. Um, and we'll see if we can farm it down. So I believe now we can. Leaf Blade's going to hit us, but our fast moves are going to be enough just to get the advantage. So we, we can get off a charge move. So that's the biggest advantage. 
is equal shields but still having enough energy to throw another charge move at the next mon. Um, it is IV dependent though, so it's a little bit close. Now obviously I've got nothing good to counter fire here, which is very much to my detriment. So I went with Alolan Sand Slash in the hopes that um, there wasn't a Noctowl in the back and Venusaur would still be able to kill. I'm really hoping it's a Whisk Cash, otherwise that's over. And it's weakly tough. So that's great. Uh, we can, we're can we just going to have too much energy generation for this Wiggly Tough. And this Sludge Bomb will finish it off. So obviously that was Noctowl. It's GG. Um, so, yeah, really kind of lucky there, let's be honest. Uh, you know, slightly different team. You could say you picked it, but I think in this cut you really can't always pick those things, you know? So, again, we get this Shift Tree Pover Pass lead. Um, we'll see how this one turns out. So we know we need to equal shield and then we can just take it down with fast moves. And you can see that I didn't get our uh, fast move off. So I decide, no, I'm not going to shield it up. I'm just going to let it go and just try and get a bit of extra energy on Venusaur here. Which is definitely a mistake. I definitely should have tried to go with the, um, get the lead advantage and equal shields on the promo pass. So. Uh, not not great play from me there. Uh, I wish I had my time over again, right? Um, you'd do it differently. And I'm charging up a stack of energy. I'm expecting him to switch soon, but he doesn't. So I'm not sure if he's still... No, he wouldn't be switch locked. Maybe he is. Um, and we are just going to see if we can take down... And he wastes his last shield there. Now, what would have been smart for me would have been to throw that energy straight away. Um... But we are able to farm it down, and I was expecting knockdown on the back, so we threw the blizzard stupidly. <laughs> Definitely should have checked it out. I had enough health that I could have checked out the Mon, because I would have killed it with uh, two of those mud bombs, but that's all right. Shadow Ball just doesn't kill us, and we do lose it. So, the smart thing. If you have enough health, check out the health of that. So check out whatever that other Pokemon is before you just throw blind. Um, so we do get a nice lead here, however, um, if, if Venusaur goes down, we could have Whiskash or Swampert in the back, and Altaria is the only thing that comes close in my team, hence the reason to switch out there. So now we're in the Whiskash mirror match, and we know we've got to get some Blizzard. Like, yes, my bomb's good, um, but if we can get the Blizzard... We're really going to set ourselves up nicely. So it's nice. He's not looking like he wants to waste any shields. I'm happy to drop one off here. Sorry for the constant messenger combos coming through. Um, I mean, forced to... Oh, actually, I didn't need the double shield there. I really probably could have let it go through. But we do have some good energy now. So if he chooses not to shield this knockdown, it doesn't. So that's really, really quite nice for us. I think he was hoping there was a bait. So Whiskash has done his job well. We'll just send in Probe Pass to finish off Noctowl. And we've got that Probe Pass in the back. So if you had a shield of that Blizzard, it would have been a much, much closer game. Um, but I guess Probe Pass can farm down Noctowl pretty easily. So depending on the lead, sorry, the switch situation isn't necessarily the end of the world. So this is one thing I really learnt in this cut was if Venusaur is like your best counter to a lot of things in the other team, don't switch into it. You're way better off switching into a mirror and hoping they stay in. Or if they don't stay in, uh, then your Venusaur is still there, you know. So we're really going to need to get rid of this Noctowl. Uh, so we're going to ease shielded once. I think we can take one Sky Attack. Uh, and we're going to try and get this Blizzard off and hope he doesn't shield this one and he doesn't so great for us <laughs> almost no point throwing these mud bombs but we, we, we do um, the nice thing here is I guess he wastes a bit of energy not that it would have mattered because Probe Pass would KO pretty quickly so I was debating to bring in Venusaur or not uh, just for that reason but we do get a nice switch in to let him waste his energy on that mud bomb so he's going to switch out to his Probe Pass and we're just going to go to town, and Venusaur, with a shield, should be pretty close to being able to sweep uh, this situation. 
and we need our Venusaur alive, even just for the fast attack damage on his Whiskash. Um, so unfortunately Venusaur just can't, those rock throws are just too much damage. Uh, so probably could have saved, definitely should have saved the shield. And he switches into the Whiskash and hopefully we can get some rock slides and do enough. But no, we can't. So it's going to be a 1-1 one, one heading in. This is the last round, so this is round 6, last battle against Agent Magica. Uh, so we get, uh, I don't know, not, not, not an ideal, I'm, I'm going to say, not ideal. So we opt not to shield, and the whole time we've been throwing the blizzard, we're ready to throw a bait um, in the mud bomb, but he switched out into shift tree. Now, we were too slow switching into our Probe Pass, so Probe Pass is going to be behind by like two fast attacks. So he's not going to have the, uh, he's not going to have the Cojones to get it through, but he chooses not to shield, which is possibly one of the best things that could have happened to us, because he would have won a match up um, if he had have kept in. So then we're able to, he switches to Whiskash, so we can take a bit of damage and then switch into our Venusaur. Now, we're going to have to get to two sludge bombs here, and we've got no shields left, alright? He's got now one, and we don't get to two sludge bombs, so... We've got, we're not in the in the best situation in the world. We've got Whiskash left against three Pokemon. Uh, and he's got a shield, and Whiskash is low. So, that's a wrap, pretty much. <laughs> Whiskash is not going to be able to do... He doesn't have that much energy. He's not going to be able to beat all of these Pokemon. So we're going to go down in our last match. So we ended up 4-2 and two in this tournament. Uh, thanks, guys. It was really, really good. I enjoyed the tournament heaps. So see you in the Rose Cup. We're going to be going another six-rounder in the Rose Cup. Uh, can't wait. I'll catch you then, guys. Bye now.